If you don't already know, my name is Mike. It is my biggest honor to say that I'm David's brother, best man, and efficient. So, um, first of all, doesn't Jenny just look beautiful? She. David's lucky to have met such an amazing person, and I'm lucky to have ended up with such a loving and wonderful sister in law. Being David's younger brother, I have known him my whole life. We have so many inside jokes and references, some we both don't remember where they're from, but we know exactly what they mean. David and I have always been very close. I couldn't have asked for a better brother. Growing up, we never had fights or sibling rivalry at all. We shared our room, all of our toys, comic books, video games, music, and DVDs. He never made me feel like an annoying little brother always letting me tag along, like when he invited me to go bowling with him and his friends after his high school prom. <laughs> he always went out of his way to do little things for me, well, not so little, like picking me up from college every weekend and hanging out in San Francisco, or driving 21 hours to move me home from Vancouver. Since David is my big brother, I always like to follow him around, which hasn't always been easy. He's always been an adventurer. Whenever he takes me somewhere I've never been, and I ask where we're going, he always just replies, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> he always changes plans on the spot, always looking for new things to do, the best places to eat, or the most scenic trails to hike. He wants to show you the best the world can offer, not realizing that it's actually him. That's why I always follow wherever he wants to go, because as long as I'm hanging out with him, I always have the best time. I know David better than the back of my hand. I know what he likes just from one look at him. I know the kind of clothes he likes, mostly because he takes so many of mine. <laughs> <laughs> he has more hand-me-ups than I have hand-me-downs. <laughs> so that's a really nice watch you have. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I can read David like a book. That's why from the first day that I saw David and Jenny together, I only had to look at David to know that one day I'd be standing here at their wedding giving a speech. Over the years, my relationship with David has never wavered. It has changed, but always for the better. Bond always becoming stronger, and I have no doubt that the same will be true for David and Jenny's love. So, if you would all please raise your glass with me for the bride and groom. <laughs> David and Jenny, whatever adventures life brings, may the love between you grow stronger forever. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. It is your turn, April. <laughs>